I originally uh, was employed in very large commercial uh, legal firms in a variety of positions over a number of years. Felt by 2000 that there was an opportunity for a niche firm to develop around the telecoms market. Set up Mason Hayes in 2002 and we've gone from strength to strength since then. Obviously I'm in the business of providing legal advice but it is a business and I need to be a businessman uh, as part of that process to make sure that we operate the services as cost effectively and as profitably as we can. When you are the MD there isn't a typical day in a law firm. There, there, there never is. You have to turn your hands to so many different things whether that's legal advice, managing people, motivating people, dealing with administration, promoting the brand, marketing the brand. We are niche. Niche in effect means that we concentrate in a particular sector which in our particular instance is the telecommunications sector. Being niche allows greater flexibility but also greater opportunity. It allows us to tailor our services in a bespoke way to our clients which in an ever competing and competitive market is really where successful law firms should be and where we always want to be in order to promote their brand and continue to go from strength to strength. The CSR that we provide here has had a positive impact. It's had a positive impact on our existing clients, but more importantly, it's had a huge impact with regard to our new clients. Often when they instruct us, they're keen to explore what we do, why we do it, how we do it. They also get it as well because they also have in their own professions a variety of schemes as well but they're particularly attracted to the fact that we are campaigning to open up diversity and to increase social mobility uh, and you know, historically that hasn't happened in the law so the brand that we have the image that we have resonates with clients and it has had a huge impact with regard to them wanting to participate and to keep coming back to use our firm as a consequence of our ethos and what we really want to do within the legal place and the legal marketplace as a whole. Make up your mind about what type of firm you want to be. Understand your market, um, understand the nature of the business and the services that you want to offer and then simply go out and compete. Uh, look at various solutions in terms of what type of services and how you're going to operate those services to clients and don't be afraid to uh, make a real real play that you are flexible that you are niche that you are small but with that brings tremendous service and value as well and that to me is fundamentally important in competing in today's legal market in recent times the SRA have changed the way that law firms are regulated in England and Wales and they've moved to an outcome focused regulation regime. In effect more burden is now placed on firms to follow business planning, to obviously operate in a certain way. Most small firms and most businesses operated in that way anyway without that regulation being affected. But what it's done is that all the firms in England and Wales are regulated under one standard regulation regime. It's not bespoke, it doesn't take into account whether your organisation is large or small. So if you're a small business you have less resource sometimes to be able to carry out those regulation services as effectively as you should do. Yes, you have to do it, understandably you need to do it, but it would help if there was a, a more prescriptive process of regulation to take into account a firm's size and resource in order to have more of a level playing field to allow small business to in effect be freed up. The Small Firms Committee and its formation now gives small firms within the Law Society a voice, a unified voice. Uh, going out, consulting with small firms, listening to small firms, what do they need? Also the committee rolling out a number of initiatives through their engagement plans in terms of what they want to campaign on and the types of services and the exchange of information that they want to obviously then provide to smaller firms. So it's fundamentally important. That's why I'm involved in the Small Firms Committee because I want to give that skill and expertise I have within my marketplace uh, to share that for the benefit of other firms and also learn from other firms in different marketplaces that could allow me hopefully to use some of their successes in our marketplace too.